what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. Well, it's been a few weeks, but you remember, remember this fun-loving guy oh. sitting next to us. <laughs> Who is it? It's That's Ryan Jay, but he's been a white, oh, been away for a while. He's a nationally syndicated film critic and fashion expert. We always want to know what you're wearing. Expert. But wow. you have been away a you while. Keep elevating my resume. I know. And I'll take it. Thank you. You Why look not? good. Oh, thanks. You look Next rested. Week will be icon, I, fashion I'm not icon. The, right? Yeah, that's that's more appropriate. Yes. Local fashion icon. Yeah, there right? we go. I think everything needs to be keep I like local. This tie, a little combo here. Well, thank you. Yeah, um, and I, I like the facial hair. Oh, do you? Yes. Thanks. Let's. Uh, it, scruff is is big always for the fall, right? Yeah. Is it fashionable too? I think so. I mean, yeah. I, we're well, you seeing would it. know. It's popular. I would know. What is happening? <laughs> I think, you know, I'm fashion police in Us Weekly magazine, but that really doesn't trans translate to actual fashion knowledge, let's be honest. It know? does. Just own it. Just yeah. own yeah. it. Thank Enjoy you. it. All right, let's break down some movies, yes, shall we? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so um, last year we wanted to build a snowman with Elsa, you know, in Frozen, but this year, do we like snowman? Rated R. Have you guys seen the commercials for this one? Yes, yeah. nonstop. stop It looks terrifying. It looks like it's going to be like a new uh, uh, Silence of the Lambs. Correct. Mm -hmm. And it's not. Mm. Oh. It's not even scary. What? Mm -hmm. Who? Uh, so Michael Fassbender yes. is in this. And I love he's him. He's from what? Well, X Men and among other things. He's oh yeah. Great, you know. Okay. He's, he's fantastic in uh, the Alien uh, prequel movies. But it's uh, it's just something where there's the snowman and there's this legend that's lore that doesn't really come together. And and he plays a drunk, depressed investigator based on the Harry Hole Norwegian book series that was very popular. They made so many changes to this book mm. that it's almost it almost deserves to tank at the box office. Oh, oh. Yeah. at least the author would say, right? Mm -hmm. So is this kind of in the horror genre? I mean, I hear like the scary sounds and the... Yeah, you know. but it's not even suspenseful and the clues don't add up. There are like little breadcrumbs throughout the story of how you put things together in any good thriller or horror movie. And when it ends and you look back, it's just disappointing and nothing really does make sense. So I'm, I'd say it's one to stream. You know, it's, it's something that okay. you could like catch at home someday. I was curious enough, so I'm yeah. going to be generous and say it's worth streaming at home. Okay. okay. You're so generous. Yeah. <laughs> what a nice guy. How about the next movie? Mark Felt. The Man Who Brought Down the White House, PG-13. This is a biopic, true story okay. of Mark Felt, who was the FBI agent popularly known as Deep Throat during the Watergate scandal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, do you do you get a good look at that historical time? You do, and I like you know the the seventies period is done very well. It's okay. saturated. The colorization is kind of blue, and it has mm. a nice look. Except yeah. Liam Neeson here, who is Mark Felt, the, his hair and makeup job is so poor. If we see any of him in the trailer, oh really? It. Yeah, it's like a really bad hair and makeup job. Um, so that was confusing. But like you don't believe his character bad? Or? No, he's good. But just look at his like the the, 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 the whoever did his hair and makeup on this film should never work in Hollywood again. Oh no! Well, we have Diane Lane as his wife, Tony Goldwyn, Josh Lucas, Kate Walsh, Noah Wiley. The cast is stacked. I really enjoy the the cast, and it's a little confusing, hard to follow. So this is also one I'd say stream. I actually did stream it. My screening was I was sent a screening link from Sony and watched this at home, and it was fine at home, but not a must see in the theater. See okay. and fine. That's not. I'm not going to spend what it costs to go to a movie if you say it's yeah. fine. If you're interested, exactly. But if you're interested in this time period or that moment in history, it's yeah, right. Worth, if you like that whole the yeah. yeah. Yeah, Just and save you your big work. bucks. Don't go and see it in the theater. What about <laughs> Only the Brave? This is PG-13. And it, interesting, I'm glad you're reviewing this because I just saw the, um, the trailer for this today. In fact. This is the movie to see in theaters this weekend. Oh, it is. This is the okay. good new movie this week. And okay. this is also a true story based on the Granite Mountain Hot Shots, which is an elite firefighting team in the Southwest uh, when there were some amazingly historic fire uh, wildfires down yeah. there. Mm -hmm. so Timely also. This? I haven't seen the trailer at all. So mm -hmm. who's all in this? This is Josh Brolin and Miles okay. Teller, who are excellent. Uh, Jeff Bridges, Taylor Kitsch, who you love. And then Jennifer Connelly, who I'm going to write yeah. in on my nominations ballot for the Critics' Choice Awards. She is absolutely Oscar worthy. Worthy in this performance. Oh she wow! Not age. She no, was, I like. Know, I mean, she I literally know. looks the same as she did 15 years ago. Thank you. I, it's like I want to take credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. Well, will people cool. be? It is cool. But will it's people scary. be familiar with the story too? I think some will. I wasn't, and it's okay. actually quite painful. I cried more in this movie than any film I ever have before. It's very oh, sad. So be cautious. Yeah, be cautious. But it's it's and great. It really I honors the men. It's a cautionary tale, also, um, and I think it's worth seeing on the big screen. So see it. This is it's a beautiful tribute to these heroes. And mm. uh, maybe could make some changes and a difference in the firefighting industry and how to protect people in the future. I like that. Only the brave. Okay. okay. A new movie club? 
a couple new movie clubs oh, next yay. week. Yeah, one Monday and Tuesday. The first one is Monday night, Goodbye Christopher Robin. It's October Aww. 23rd at 7 p.m. So if you want to enter to win a couple reserved seats to join me at that screening, go to it's my website. It's not Winnie the Pooh. I mean, it's not. It's based on that yeah. uh, that story. So it's, I think it's the true life story of the man who went on to. Cute. Yeah. Oh, that so, is cute. Mm -hmm. You have uh, two. Two. Tuesday night is the one for uh, Thank You for Your Service, which is Tuesday, October 24th, 7.30 p.m. So if you're interested in that story, uh, that film, rather, enter at my website. All right. Okay. Fun stuff. Yeah, all yeah good. I like it. All really good. good. You, you can like Ryan on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter. For full movie reviews, check out his website. It's ryanjreviews.com.